Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. For the Yoba actress, it's only Barnabas and online Yinka Peters. It was love at first sight. These two are officially married. They started their relationship in 2019 and got engaged in December 2020. And today they made their first step to tie the knots just three months after the couple got engaged. This couple took to their respective social media pages to share the photos and short clips from the ceremony. As they profess their love for each other, the groom says, I may not have the right words to express to you how I feel about you and how blessed I am that you came into my life. I just want to let you know that I love you with everything I've got. And this journey with you is forever. This footballer wrote this on a social media platform. And his wife, Yetunde Barnabas, replied and said, My husband, you are my answered prayers and I love you deeply. Since they shared this news, a lot of Nigerians have been congratulating them, including the husband's football team in Europe. They even posted some official wedding photos of those two. Olaiya Peters has been playing football abroad since the year 2012 and he has played in the Champions League and Europa League. Whilst the Yetune Bonobas has made a name for herself, and able to carve a niche for herself in the Nigerian movie industry. She's also known as Miss Kwekwaye in the popular sitcom Papa Ajasku. What do we know about this newly wedded Yoba actress Yetunde Banaba? She's originally from Koki State, but her family is based in Abuja. She grew up in a Christian home and she's the first child of three daughters. At a point, she relocated to Lagos State for university education. She sadly lost her father while she was pretty young, since he died in the year 2007. Her mother has been the one playing the fatherly role to her, and she says God has been faithful. For elementary education, she attended Love International Primary School in Abuja, and for secondary school education, she attended two schools, King of Kings Secondary School and a government school, both in Abuja. Then she studied public administration at the Distance Learning Institute of the University of Lagos State. But before proceeding to the university, she attended Syriki Olopolo Production and Royal Arts Academy to learn more about acting. She still has plans to do more academically. When Yetunde informed the parents that she wanted to be an actor, they didn't object to it, as she has been doing something similar from her days in the church. Her mother is always thankful to God for where she is today, and she believes God has truly answered her prayers. This is what this actress revealed in an interview. And apart from being an actress, she is also a model. Before she started playing Miss Kwekwaye, she was already a beauty queen. She won Miss Oloko in the year 2013 and the most beautiful girl in Abuja in the year 2017. For her, Papa Jasko is one of her biggest achievements so far as it opened many doors for her and created more opportunities. She's also a producer as mentioned earlier and she has used a movie to promote herself. She has produced nothing less than four movies including Omo Yaoshu. Papa Jasko is one of her biggest achievements so far as it opened many doors for her and created new opportunities. She's also a movie producer and she has used her movies to promote herself. She has produced nothing less than four movies, including Omo Yaoshu. And for her career so far, this actress once admitted that she has learned a lot from her senior colleagues in the movie industry who have gained lots of experience over the years. She's also a very committed and focused actress who clearly knows where she's coming from and what she wants. Yesterday was admitted that life was not as easy as she would have expected it to be. But as days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years, this movie started growing confidence after having featured in several movies and played versatile roles, which has earned her the needed confidence for greater fits in future. These are some of the movies she has featured in. Ede Meiji, Lisa, Queen, Me, Omo, Yaosho, Okaoriobe, Imuleaje, Lorititi, Olode, Omiju, Afoju, Knockout, Dagoko, Aye, Elegbenla, and Emi Folami, just to mention a few. Yetunde fits seamlessly into any character, and she has this following awards and nominations. In 2019, Yetunde was nominated for the Most Promising Actress of the Year at the Nigeria Achievers Awards in recognition for her various television and film roles. In 2019, she was also nominated for Model of the Year at the Scream Awards. In the same year, 2019, yesterday was nominated as Beauty Queen of the Year at the Africa Choice Awards. In August 2019, yesterday was selected alongside other African models by the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, as part of a new beauty campaign tagged Ewa Tomi. Yetunde first started her career in the entertainment industry as a model 
and had emerged winner of the Miss Ulo Community Pageant in 2013. She then came into prominence in her modeling career after she was crowned the most beautiful girl in Abuja in 2017 and also Miss Tourism Nigeria 2020. She also had a deal with Multi Choice DSTV and became a brand ambassador for an Abuja based estate management firm. Over the years, she has also acted alongside top actors in Yoruba movie industries like Akin Lewis, Afizo, Biola Dibayo, Adedi Meji Latif, Bola Limnolu, and so many others. For Yetune's robot doll, she likes Beyoncé and she has always admired her. In fact, she says there is no perfect human being, but she likes the fact that Beyoncé is ambitious and hardworking. In the movie industry in Nigeria, she grew up watching Omotela Jalade Kende. Then she also loves the fact that she's a Yoruba woman and she plays major roles in Nollywood. She pictured herself being another Yoruba superstar, acting alongside big English-speaking movie actors. And for the Yoruba movie industry sector, Arumo doll is midday matters. For her personality, she revealed in an interview that she's a completely different person from the Miss Wekwaya character. When she's Miss Wekwaya, she's funny, noisy, and arrogant. People always commend her for playing such an unbelievable role. Miss Wekwaya is a slay queen. And she uses extreme makeup. People will know her know that she does not like wearing loud makeup. And she's an introvert. For yesterday's style, she loves to wear things that make her comfortable. And she also likes to follow trends. This newly wedded actress is currently 26 years old. She was born on August 30th in 1994. And this actress today is one of the few Yoruba Nigerian actresses that have left a footprint already in the Nigerian film industry. Considering how influential she has become in recent years. These are some of the recent movies she has featured in. Oka Oriebe, Afeson or Yimoja, Akaba, Aruba, Oshun, Ejalomo, Yeye Ariron, The Other Me, Yawo Kefa, My Jealous Last Born, Sandy Odara, Meje, Owambe Ladies, My Perfect Man, Addiction, Yeye Ariron, Eri Folami, Surprise, Ojiji, Ma Wuko, Yetunde Oni Biraga, Eja Lomo Yesude Odaju, Agbara Posi, E Son La Ye Ukikiku, Eri, Power Agbara, Omoliri, Yellow Sisi, Yara Juji, Strange Room, Ife Odale, You Are My Light, Iji, Storm, and Soulmates, just to mention a few. So, congratulations to Yesude Banabas and her husband on their traditional wedding ceremony. May God bless their home. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.